cheese at? Oh! Iba do skindali kadi kaya do. joining us to pray um, for Nigeria and um, also for your country if you're joining in you can use this you know as a leverage to pray for your own country because the, the world is like crazy turning upside down and you know we have tornadoes and fires and rumors of wars and actual wars and food shortages and all kinds of things happening. But today, we want to focus on Nigeria. Amen. So I want to welcome you um, from wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and wherever you are joining us from. Thank you so much. So we're praying for Nigeria. The elections are in just a couple of days. It's just a countdown. And we are praying for Nigeria. And we know that God has answered our prayers in the name of Jesus. Come out of the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever we pray, we pray the word because we have nothing else to stand on but the word of God. So we stand on the word of God. We stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. Psalms 95 verses 1 to 3. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great king, God, and a great king above all gods. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you. You're worthy to be praised. You're the greatest king. There is none like you. That's why we come to our God, our rock, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the soon coming king. You are the one who will wear the vesture deep in blood. And on the vesture and on your ties, there's a name written. King of kings, the Lord of lords, King of kings, and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. God, we come before you and we ask, oh God, for the cleansing. We plead the blood of Jesus. We ask that you cleanse us of every sin, everything that might be near our prayer, everything on my God. We ask for the cleansing in the blood of Jesus that we have access by faith before the Holy of Holies. And right now, oh God, we transcend, we transcend the physical and we begin to rise. We begin to rise. We stand before your throne because your word tells us to come boldly to come boldly before the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Your word tells us to come not timidly, not fearfully, but to come boldly, 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 to come boldly because of 
Jesus to come boldly before the throne of grace. Before the throne of grace. We stand before the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy. We obtain mercy. We obtain mercy. We obtain mercy for Nigeria. We obtain grace for Nigeria in the name of Jesus that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. This is a time of need for Nigeria. That, O oh Lord, we begin to call upon your mercy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. And she's at this in my way. She'll be reading the word. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Father, that is what your word says that if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, we are seeking your face and turn from their wicked ways, then you will hear from heaven and will keep their sin and heal their land. This is your word, O oh God. And in the name of Jesus, we ask for forgiveness. In the name of Jesus, forgive us sin, our personal sin. Forgive our family's sin. Forgive the sin of the states. Forgive the sins of our leaders. Forgive the sins of Nigerians. Forgive the sin of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we come before you. For your word says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, Lord, may, everybody may not turn from their wicked ways, but oh God, there are some people who have been knocking on heaven's door, who have begged you, who have asked for mercy for Nigeria, and because of these people, oh God, you will hear them, you will hear us, and you will forgive our sins, and you will heal Nigeria in the name of Jesus, based on that word begin to decree and declare in the name of Jesus that it is well with Nigeria. It is well with Nigeria. We decree, we declare that as the elections are coming in the name of Jesus, all the distractions, all the distractions around, no fuel, no cash, no this, no light in the name of Jesus. We command everything that wants to frustrate the elections to be frustrated. We decree and declare that the elections will come and pass in the name of Jesus peacefully. Because Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. You are the Prince of Peace. Be the Prince of Peace in Nigeria. You are the Prince of Peace in Nigeria. You are the Lord of Lords in Nigeria. You are the King of Kings in Nigeria. Therefore reign, therefore reign. Therefore rain, therefore rain, therefore rain in the name of Jesus. Therefore rain in the name of Jesus. Touch the heart of Nigerians to know, oh God, that you are in control in the name of Jesus. We begin to pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, for the electoral bodies, for I and for I and the rest of them in the name of Jesus, for them to do what is equitable and right in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we come against every problem, we come against every rigging, we come against every cheating, we come against everything don't like God, we say it will not stand if it's going to happen, if it's already happening in the name of Jesus, we destroy it in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus we ascend above, above 
above, above, above. We are seated with Jesus in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. All, all of them, all of them are on our feet and they're destroyed in the name of Jesus. Therefore, we take authority over every territorial spirit, every spirit that is assigned to Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We cast you out, we bind you in the name of Jesus. We decree in the name of Jesus. But the word of God says, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every territorial spirit, every demonic power, in the name of Jesus, from the ocean, from the mountain, from the land, from the sea, wherever you're from, you will not work here. We dislodge you, we cast you out, we destroy all the plants. In the name of Jesus.
bring out Nigeria from the top where it is. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, oh God, that you would use them, that everything that they do will be aligned to your word. Everything that they do will be aligned to your word. We speak for that in the name of Jesus, they have excellence. They have excellence. They have wisdom. And they understand they are public servants. They are leaders, servant leaders, meant to serve Nigerians. From the president down to the least in power, let this be their heart's desire. Anybody who's there for any other purpose will not smell it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we decree and declare that, oh God, there'll be a shift in the minds of Nigerians. Their mental health will be whole. People thinking of, of, of doing evil things will stop. In the name of Jesus, you will touch their mental health. We come against the spirit of hopelessness. We come against the spirit of suicide. We come against the spirit of evil. In the name of Jesus, because of what Nigerians have suffered in the hands of the wicked, Lord, begin to touch their minds and heal every Nigerian. Let there be a shift to the right place. The shift in the name of Jesus. A paradigm shift in their minds. And they begin to think properly, look properly, and see properly. And they see the vision clearly. And they run with it. In the name of Jesus, let there be healing in the hearts of Nigerians. Let there be strength in the name of Jesus. Let them be ready to roll up their sleeves, to begin to rebuild Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, anything that might want to be a backlash, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Anything that might want to be a retaliation, we come against it in the name of Jesus. We come against it in the name of Jesus. Every demonic plan of the enemy, will not work in the name of Jesus. It will not stand in the name of Jesus. We decree excellence. We decree excellence. We say right now that Nigerians will vote not according to ethnic sentiments, ethnic lines, not according to religious lines, not according to religious sentiments or any sentiment or because they've been bribed in the name of Jesus. They will vote because they are voting the person that they know will deliver, the person who is honest, the person with a good track record, the person who is honest, the person who is ready to be a servant king indeed, the person that God will use to turn Nigeria around, turn Nigeria around quickly in the name of Jesus. I said quickly in the name of Jesus because the word of God says, ah, oh my God, and it is shall be born in one day. Yes, a nation can be born in one day. For when for when Zion travels, she brought forth her children. In the name of Jesus, Nigeria travels. We bring forth a new Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, we push, we push out the old Nigeria. We send it out in the name of Jesus. With this evil spirit, we send it out. We burn and destroy it. And right now, we say, Nigeria, a new Nigeria, be first, be first, be first, be first. You will not die. You will not die. A new Nigeria, be first, be first. Stand up, arise, let them be new. Let them be a new Nigeria. That people who have laughed at Nigeria will turn around and say, is this Nigeria? Yes, this is Nigeria. First. A new Nigeria we decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Travel, bring forth your children, bring forth the right things, bring forth the right things, bring forth the right things, bring forth the right things in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh, 
out. We begin to speak life into Nigeria. We begin to speak excellence into Nigeria. We begin to say, you have beautiful ashes, Nigeria. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. For you are the planting of the Lord. And you are like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. Your roots go deep down. You do not, you do not, you do not have drought. You are always in season. Your fruits are always there. Oh, begin to go down Nigeria and deep, deep from the streams of life, from the streams of God. In the name of Jesus, we destroy, we destroy corruption. We destroy, we destroy the powers of darkness that have held this land in captivity. We destroy the powers of darkness that has held Nigeria in captivity. We destroy the powers of darkness that have held Nigeria in captivity, doing the wrong things in association, doing the wrong things with other nations, doing the wrong things with other nations, doing the wrong things with other nations. Other nations, we decree to do the right things with Nigeria in the name of Jesus. I will decree. Let the sectors begin to blossom. In the name of Jesus, let the sectors begin to blossom. Let the health sector begin to blossom. Let the educational sector begin to blossom. Let the financial sector begin to blossom. Let the building sector begin to blossom. Let the manufacturing sector begin to blossom. Let the IT sector begin to blossom. Let the oil and gas begin to blossom. Let tourism and entertainment begin to blossom. Let them begin to blossom. All the sectors, in the name of Jesus, receive life. Receive life. Receive life. Receive life. Receive life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, nothing. We decree nothing will destroy this election. We decree nothing will stop the peace of God reigning before, during, and after. We decree that the man that God has chosen and the people that God has chosen will be in power. I will decree again. Their servant kings. Their servant leaders. We don't want to see the Nigeria of before. We want to see a fresh, new, beautiful, wonderful Nigeria. Yes! And it will not take time. It will not take time. Because the Lord will have mercy to build, to rebuild, to build what we, we, we've never seen. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, because your word says that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, far above, all we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Your power that works in us. The power that raised Jesus from the dead is in Nigeria and it raises Nigeria. The elections are fine. The people we voted in are fine. There is peace. Jesus is the king of kings of this land and we will be rejoicing. There is dancing on the streets. There is rejoicing on the streets. There is happiness on the streets. Because, oh God, you are in control. We come to you because you are the only one who can help us. We don't have any other way to go to. But you, oh God, you, oh God, you, oh God, you, oh God, you, oh God. Oh, 
Um, in Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 it says you know the prophet says on, on behalf of God he says I looked for anyone I looked for anyone to repair the wall and stand in the gap for me and on behalf of the land to stand in the gap for me and on behalf of the land so I would I would not have to destroy it so I would not have to destroy the land but I could find I could not find anyone this is not our case Lord here we are. Everyone might not pray and believe you, but that just for you to remember there's a remnant. Because of the remnant, we'll call on you in truth. Have mercy, O God. 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 Have mercy. Oh God, mercy, oh God, have mercy, oh God, have mercy, oh God, have mercy, oh God. Have mercy. Oh God, have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, oh God, because of the remnants. Have mercy, oh God. There is no worry, no work. But anyone pleads for mercy. And you turn away and keep them away. It's not in your word, oh Lord, but anyone at mercy, you granted them mercy. I know we granted mercy. I know Nigeria has no mercy. Have mercy, oh God. Remember your word where well. things were so bad for Samaria because Assyria tormented them and took over the land. And it was so bad, so bad that people were buying dung. That's what your word tells us dung. Were they buying dung for? Maybe to go and eat. And people, mothers, they were eating their children. They were eating their children. It was so bad. The oh Lord. He used the lepers to 
send away the Assyrians and Samaria became free. We are asking for an intervention. As we vote, we are asking for an intervention. As we vote, we only know it's an intervention from God that will deliver us. So Lord, have mercy. He will have mercy, I know. When the children of Israel got to the Red Sea, there was no way for them. It was an hopeless case. But you are the same God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you made a way for them. And they passed through. Have mercy. Make a way for Nigeria. Because you are the way maker. You are the way. Yes, Lord. You are. You are the light. You are the light. We are the light. And we shine. We don't need to make an announcement. We just show up. We are light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Light must shine. In the land. Nigeria. Let there be light. Let there be light. Light must shine. In you are the miracle walker. Walk this miracle in Nigeria. Father, Father, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy is all we can say. Thank you for deliverance. And we thank you because we know you have heard us. Because you are Yahweh. And what tells us that you gave him, you gave Jesus a name, which is far above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Of things in heaven, of things on earth, and of things under the earth. And that every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. You are the ruler of this land. Your righteousness and your justice is here. Your righteousness and your justice is in Nigeria. Your righteousness and your justice is in Nigeria. And so we give you praise, O oh God. We give you honor, O oh God. We give you glory, O oh Lord. Because we are fighting from a place of, of, we are fighting from a place of victory. Because Jesus gave us the victory. We are not fighting from a place of defeat. Our Father, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, has already given us the victory. So we claim the victory. We claim the victory for Nigeria. We decree, we declare, we command, we say it in the name of Jesus. Nigeria is free. Nigeria is free from the yoke of the devil. From the yoke of the devil. From the yoke of the devil. We fight because Jesus has given us the victory. You gave us the victory. And so we claim the land. Let the prophecies, the prophecies concerning Nigeria come to pass. In the name of Jesus, let the destiny of Nigeria come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Let the economy begin to blossom. Nigeria rise, shine, 
for the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Nigeria, rise, shine, for the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you in the name of Jesus. Nigeria. We thank you, my 